Let's have a look at cutting out a circle or shape in three easy steps on the iPad for Affinity Photo. Now you can see in the top left hand corner I've already um, managed to, to, got, to do one there. This is one I cooked earlier. So let's proceed to have a look at that one and you can see it's quite simple. It's made up of two layers. Well, well probably three before you finish. But now it's down to two. And you've got a mask and the, sh and the original rectangle with an image in it. Now let's go back and see how we do this. Take a new document. can be anything you like, a photo. And what I like to do here is orientation is portrait and a transparent background. Because we're going to punch through to the transparent background. Bring it up to that size. And put it there. Now the first thing to do in this instance we're going to put a rectangle on there. Now it's it's almost white, it's it's a little bit grey there, but that's okay. It makes it stand out easier. Now that's first layer. The second layer I want to put on, I want to put an ellipse in there. So let's draw an ellipse out. That's not too bad. And we'll center that ellipse. There we go, that's nicely centered. And you can see over here we've got the ellipse there and the rectangle there. Now this is fairly um, strange, this bit. We've got an ellipse. What I want to do with that is then have them both selected we go over here to Geometry and tap on Subtract. Now you can see in the centre of the circle there, it's punched right through to the transparent background, which is exactly what we wanted. Now remember, you had to have both layers selected, and Subtract takes the top layer away from the bottom layer. So the top layer is the circle, the bottom layer is the rectangle, and it takes it away. Now, what can we do with that? Let's go to Unsplash and search for man. And where's the picture of a man? There, that one will do. Just drag that across there. Now drag that down so it's about the centre where the circle will be. We can't see the circle through that, but that's okay. What we've got there, you can see the circle. Now you take hold of that there and move it up to the centre. And there you go. Image inside a circle. But we've got a blank patch at the top there. Why is that so? Let's step back here a little bit. That's because we moved the image down. Perhaps a better image. Okay, taking a little bit of time here. Uh, never mind. Let's try the image I used before in Designer. That's that one there. Put that away. Now, you can see she's okay there. Go to there. Move that up. There we go. No space at the top. All done. Nice little image in a circle. Thanks for watching. That's all there is to it.